you know, that, that was the call. It was a play that I almost took out early in the week, but uh, I'm glad I didn't because uh, it came in handy in a critical moment. And uh, Sam did a really good job of, of letting Josh get open. And Josh did a great job of standing in bounds and, and uh, getting the first down. And were you all in on going for it immediately? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stanford was, uh, had some momentum. So. Wanted to want to end the game. What was your favorite call? Tonight? My favorite call? Yeah. The uh, second down, the one yard line, <laughs> the uh, Michael Pittman uh, play. Um, I almost talked myself out of it because I knew they were going to bring you know, pressure. I almost talked myself out of it, but uh, that it didn't. You know, you pull the trigger in situations like that. You can't second guess yourself. And the players were aggressive and they, they were playing aggressive along with the way I was thinking, and uh, it, it was good tonight. There was an earlier time where um, Sam was backed up and he actually took the sack. Yeah, you know, yeah. So did you guys kind of talk to him about, like, hey? Yeah, we did. It was, it was a. It was a deal where you know he was a little, you know, he didn't see Deontay coming across his eyes from somewhere else, and you know, Deontay is probably still running right now. But you know he got on the phone, he he, he knew it as soon as he got on the sideline. But it was hard, you know, he had people in his face, and he just didn't see him. So yeah. I can't, can't fault him. I know how that is. And haven't played it, so sometimes you get in your face, you can't see people. So that's what happened to him. You were comfortable enough to come back to. Oh yeah, came back to the same play. Yeah, came back to the same play uh, later on in the drive. We had a, a bit of pressure at that time. We had better protection, and he delivered it to Deontay on the critical uh, second down, going in for that touchdown run. Coach, that play is developing, and you see Sam step up. What are you thinking at that point? Well, I was losing my mind just because I saw Deontay <laughs> open it up. But you got to put yourself in his shoes and what he could see and what he couldn't see. And you understand it, although you want a different result, but I understand it. still understood what happened. How about the play to Pittman when you see? Oh, yeah. No, it was, you know, early in the game. We, we, we felt good about the matchup uh, with Mike in the slot set on this, this game. And, uh, and and Deontay had been doing a good job. I just really like Mike's size and speed, uh, combination of size and speed. And uh, he did a really good job of getting open. I thought the defender did a good job earlier in the route, and Mike just kept fighting to get himself open, and Sam found him. Oh, no. How much did his absence early cost his team? Oh, no. There was something that we had been talking about all year. I know you guys that cover us every day. You know, you know, you know it might sound like I was making excuses, but <clears throat> when you're a quarterback and you have that type of player all camp, and then that guy goes down, it, it bothers you. And, you know, the other guys did a good job, but you know, a guy like a Michael Pittman, you want to have – him in the mix, and I think when, once he got back, Sam felt really comfortable about the passing game and uh, his size and speed and, and winning versus man to man. So you got to have a guy like that. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty much like having a juju out you know, early in the year. You know, a guy that's that dynamic, that big, that fast, that physical. It would be like having a juju out, you know, to start the season. And so, uh, but I'm glad we got healthy when we need to get healthy. Got ourselves here, won with Pac-12 champions, and hopefully the committee can look at us as a two-loss team, uh, as right up there with Auburn as debatable who the two best two-loss teams are, and uh, we'll see what happens with them. But to go 12 straight, to uh, you know the only Pac-12 losses on the <coughs> on the road on a Friday night against a ranked team, top 15 team, only come short of about, about three points, you know, uh, you know. You, I, I, re I really like our chances. I really like this team's chances, and we had the opportunity to be in the playoffs. Coach, was Stanford's defense similar to the first time you guys played them? Or were they much no, better tonight? Well, in, in, in some cases, uh, you know, Stanford's a team in the ball club that they're going to do what they do. They, they're not a team that changes from week to week. They believe in what they believe in on offense and defense. You just have to do a better job of executing than they do. And uh, they did something similar uh, later in the year. They put in some different packages. Uh, some different pressures, and they were getting to the quarterback pretty good. You know, I thought they played great against Notre Dame and great against Washington. You know, some physical guys up front that can run the ball. So we came into this game uh, knowing that we were going to have to get a little creative in the run game and that Rojo and the guys were going to have to grind out some yards. And I'm really proud of our offensive line and the running backs the way that they ran today. And Sam, too. Sam made some really good decisions in the RPO game, times where he could have thrown the ball but chose to be unselfish and, and hand it off uh, to keep us on track in, in the game. So uh, really proud of our young men for the way that they believe in what we're doing and, and sticking to the game plan to win games. Coach, what did you tell guys at halftime when you guys had kind of dominated the first half but the scoreboard didn't reflect? That? Yeah, uh, we started out slow. We had some mental errors uh, in the first quarter that was a characteristic of how we started games. We usually start off very, very clean and without the mental mistakes. And uh, 
So I really just said, the number one thing that we did great, we didn't turn the ball over. Uh, clean up some penalties and some mental errors. We should, we should, we should do well in the second half. Made some one game adjustments that uh, that worked for us. So we talked about those things, and and the guys came out and executed well in the second half.